In this video, we're going to go over uh, your electronic document um, skills, and we're going to make sure that you are going to be able to turn in homework successfully and make it look very professional. The first thing I'm going to have you do is always put a header on your assignment. So we'll go to Insert, Header, and in that header, I would like to have PRTA144 and then put the assignment name. This assignment name is the electronics, electronic document homework and then you'll put your name. So I'll just write Weaver for my name. Now typically I like for this to be bolded and a little bigger so you'll see I went home and if you want to make it bigger, you can hit the biggie biggie button. If you want to make it smaller, you hit the tiny button. Of course, there are varying ways to do this, but this is just one of them. The very first assignment is to snip a PNID from the web. So we're going to do that first. So I just numbered, and then I wrote in snip a PNID from the web. And of course, it uh, wants to put a number there, so I'll just backspace, get rid of that and you can use your snipping tool. I usually use Snagit, that way I can edit my um, image. But we can use Insert, Screenshot, Screen Clipping, and then just choose something. Now I happen to go to Instrumentation Toolbox, and I knew that they had some PNIDs. They got some nice explanations of instrumentation as well. You'll notice that it just plops it right in there. I can then go to the right of it and hit enter and then I'm going to tell it to quit indenting and give me a number here. The next thing we're going to do is use the equation editor to insert an equation. So I will hit insert equation and this should be in any of your Microsoft Word uh, software. It is there whether or not you know it or not is something else, but we're going to insert the equation. It's a flow equation. So I'm going to get here and I would like to have Q sub 1. So I went into my scripts and I said I need capital Q and then scroll over with my right key sub 1 and get out of that so I'll have to hit the right key equals. The next thing I want is 359.05. This is an actual flow formula that you will use in Instruments 3. I want a set of parentheses and these parentheses will grow which makes them really nice so I'm going to use those. I need to have a fraction bar so I'll hit the fraction bar and then on top I want a capital C and the denominator I want a square root so I go to where the radicals are pick the one that I want which is this one and inside that radical I need 1 minus a beta to the fourth so that means I'm going to want something with a superscript so I'll then go and find my symbol for beta and that would be under the Greek letters so I'll find that beta and there he is and then I want to write it to the fourth so I've got to get in out of there sometimes you have to fiddle with it and use your little arrow keys to the fourth and then I'm going to use my arrow keys to get all out of this and then I want Y sub 1 so that's going to be a script there so that's capital Y and then sub 1 and you're going to use these skills throughout the rest of your career and the more professional your documents uh, the more impressive you're going to be to uh, management. So I'll need an F sub A. I would keep all of your professional looking documents that you turn in for homework keep a copy of those and put those in a portfolio so that's F sub A I'm going to need another square root symbol here. I'll go inside of here and I want this to be a fraction bar. Watch my square root grow. And I need an H here. And in the denominator, I'm going to need a Greek letter rho. And I see him right there. 
and that's what the formula is going to look like that I need to enter. Now I really would like this to be a little bigger so I'll, I can just highlight it. I'll hit home and I'll hit the biggie 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 button and say oh that looks good and then I'm going to get out of here and I'd like for it to be down there, get rid of that three, just so it kind of sits centered in the page because that to me looks really nice. So I'll hit enter and then I'm going to tell it to go back and I want you to be on number three. And my next order of business is to create a table and then a graph. So in this course, you're going to be snipping things from the internet, you're going to be using the equation editor, you're also going to be creating tables and graphs. So let's look at creating a table, say, in Word. I always like creating them in Word because they're, they're pretty nice to do. I can say insert and table, and I want this table to just be a, uh, let's see, two columns and one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So two columns and one, two, three, four four, five, six rows. So that's what I want this one to look like. This first column is going to be in. The next column is going to be out. And then on my in, I want zero. Scroll down one. Just fill in my table. And then out. Okay, so I have now filled that in. I'm going to uh, make my table look a little bit better. Let's use something like, oh, I like that. And I want uh, these fonts to be just a little bit bigger. So let's biggie, biggie those fonts. Chink, chink, chink. And uh, you can piddle with it a little more from there. I kind of want my table not to be so spread out because it doesn't look good and so I will just kind of create it like this if I happen to want uh, let's say I want a line there in between that out I can go to my table tools and design I can choose to do a border painter and just paint that thing right there let's say I want uh, uh, to paint it all around the outside because I kind of think that would be nice then I can do that and just paint it on each of these outsides which is fine to do from there and just creating a table and you have to kind of get it right on there as you know it it's finicky on you I'll get it here in a second and let's say you can't really get it to do that and he's not behaving you can always say put it on the top. Just put yourself in the column that you want it in and it'll do it too. A, a variety of ways to do this. I also want my table to be um, I want it to be moved over a little. I just want to put it in the center. Oops, that, that actually makes my word in the center because I was outside of that. So let me get on here and see if we can create this table in the center. So I'm just going to highlight the whole table and move it to the center or you could move it over one way or the other. I kind of like that, so I'm going to be done there. Next I'll tell it to quit indenting like that and give me uh, a number four. I'm going to create a table, from, I mean a graph, from this data. Okay, now I want you to play around with this a little bit, but you'll just go into Excel, you'll enter in your data, I just select my data, and I'm going to go into insert, you'll go to charts, you'll pick you one that you like. I like this one. I don't really like what they've done with my axis here because these aren't my data points so I'm going to tell them, hey wait, no, I want you to format the axis. So I just double clicked on the axis and then I'll just start uh, clicking around until I can, let's see, my axis options, horizontal axis values, where are those things, line got to get them up. Okay, there they are. The bounds, 0 to 4.5. I don't want you to go to 4.5. I just want you to go to 4. And I don't want those 0.5s because they're not on there. So just count by 1s, please. And you'll click out of there and see how you'll make it from there. Also in here, you'll want to change your chart title. Um, I'm just going to say that because this is one that you're going to have to do later. I'm going to call this gain because this is what you'll have to do. Um, I might even want my uh, vertical axis. 
I want that one to be so once again I just click and double click and I got on my vertical axis and I want that vertical axis just to go up to 15 please and please count by uh, threes no my minimum I want it to be zero there we go that to me looks nice I'm pretty happy with that so what I'll do next is I'll get rid of this dumb thing I'm pretty happy with this graph get the little dealios off of there and what I can do now is I can just take this I'm going to control C for a copy I'll minimize and I'm going to put my graph in here return quit that control V and it should just plop your graph in there oops that went to the next page so I'm going to go here insert page break so that you're on the next page and get rid of that four because that doesn't need to be there and then hit return go back home get rid of that indent and then my next one is going to be because I've now created um, a graph oh I could have written in and out on these axis I could have labeled the axis I probably should have but I could always do that after the fact now that I'm here you can just insert and I can just go to shapes text and I'm just going to insert right let's do it right here I'm going to write the word in and I'll just kind of place it wait till I get a little um, little starry thing I'm going to place it mm, let's see right here and then I'll take this and I'll say let's take the whole thing control C and then I'll control V and, oops no that's not what you were supposed to do get rid of you delete that delete cut okay so take this this is the thing that I want it to let me highlight the whole thing say control C there he is and I'm, I'll just put another one in since it's not going to behave for me I'll just go okay insert shapes and all kinds of different ways you can do this I'm gonna write it right in here and I'm gonna write the word out and that's one way you could do it actually it's not real pretty so I'm not really crazy about it but it is a way to get it done it would have been better if I could have extended this line and probably I wouldn't be happy with this I would redo this but I showed you how to do one anyway okay so the next thing we're going to do is create a P and ID and you have the P and ID listed in your homework what it is that you're going to create and we're going to do this with a drawing package you can do this with something called lucid charts which is free from the internet and it is just you can uh, you just you know, give them your student account and just go to lucidchart.com and enter in your information and you'll be able to have access to their drawing package or if you're on campus or if you have Microsoft Office you can use Visio or um, just any of your favorite drawing software that you like to use you'll be using that quite a bit this semester you could even use paint although I don't recommend it it's not as easy I'm going to show you how to use Visio uh, lucid chart is very similar lucid chart is really easy and fun as well I'm going to give you a copy of this template so you can start from this place as well here's just a little P and ID you'll need some stencils and just makes your life a little easier and I'll go to more shapes I like the uh, let's see engineering and I like to go to process engineering I'm gonna need a tank so I want some vessels uh, I'm going to need is there a pump on this I don't think so so I'm going to need some pumps and I think I have just about everything else already that I need but you can see that you could click any one of these and the um, the stencils will just show up over there to the left it makes it really handy alright so I won't need this uh, I won't need uh, an orifice I'll leave that because I might need that I'll get rid of these all of these lines those are easy to we don't want that vessel and don't want that one 
Okay. And this is a little vent to atmosphere thing that I had created. You can uh, choose this any way you want to. I just have a little drawing up there. I want to look at my vessels. I want an open tank and I'll put him over here, just drag him and I want him to be a little taller and across over here like that and there he is. I'm going to take this and just kind of shift it around. I think I want him actually facing the other direction because I want a valve on him and I'm gonna want my valve Let's see, that's all in one, so I'll just use this one. You can group these things, um, you know, you can see where I, this thing is all grouped as one. If I'd like to, I can just grab the whole thing. Oh, I don't have the whole one. Grab it. Now he's grabbed, and I can tell it to ungroup, and I want you to see that it is several different shapes all put together. I created my own valve because I don't like the picture that they have of the valve. You do use whatever valve you want to. I'll rotate this valve because I want him upside down. Whoops, no, I want you straight up and down. I'll move you up to right in here. And then I'm going to take this line and just extend it over into there makes that nice. I want, uh, I'll just take you, whoops, nope, I want the whole thing. So I'm going to take you and move you down here. And I want this, double click inside of here, I want that to be an LIC. LIC, we'll leave it 151. And then I need a connector. I will connect from here to my top of my valve is where I want it. Of course, he's not going to want to go there, but I'll, I'll make him go there. There we go. And if you will, let's go back to the pointer tool and move you. Oh, let's move you down a little bit further down so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. And let's say that I want this to be a pneumatics uh, signal here. So I'll just click on this. I'll right click and I'll say format that shape for me over there to the right and you can't see that um, I'll just click line and then I'm clicking um, my dash type and if you scroll down through your dash type you'll see the pneumatic and you'll just click on your pneumatic lines when you find him So it automatically makes that a pneumatic line. Now, I don't like the fact that it's gone through that valve, but that's okay. I'll just set, send it backwards, and then I can hit my pointer tool, hit this guy, and bring him to the front, bring forward, and then you don't see that line that's actually underneath there anymore. I don't like the fact that that thing has got a little bit of show, so I just move that. And of course, my LIC, of course, that dumb thing had to stay, so we got to get him and move him back inside that. There you go. And I'm also going to need a pump, so I go over here and I had to hit pumps. And I had to go ahead and add these other things in order to get my, um, um, in order to get my, my lines, my pneumatic line to show up. I just am going to pick this centrifugal pump here, put him right in here, and I'm going to say that you are, I want a, whoops, I want a connector. I want you to go from the bottom of the tank, and I want you to go out. I like that line to be a little thicker. You'll notice my width of my lines are like a 1.5. Same here, I want this to be a little thicker to show that that's a process line and I can put an arrow on the end of this just end arrow type I'm still going into my format shape which is um, on that um, on this right hand side of the screen that's not on your thing okay so I'm going to choose pointer tool I'm going to move this and I'm going to move it up here he's got to Come in here. This is process that he's measuring up into here. Oops, no, you need to be straight, little bud. Alright. You can be cranky. 
and when they get cranky I just go okay I'll just move this then until I get it the way exactly the way I like it and I'll fix that here just as okay I got that how I liked it now I'm going to take my connector I've clicked connector and oops connector is what I clicked and I want you to go into here and what we're going to say that is we'll just say we're doing this electronically so I'll go to my dash type and I'll pick a dash line to show that it is electronic um, I think that is about all I've got on there except for that this needs to be uh, LIT level indicating transmitter 151 katunk katunk 151 and I'll get rid of all this other stuff of course it doesn't really matter watch what I'll do is I'll just move this out of my way and now that I've got this here I'm just going to uh, snip it and then I will plop it into my word document so here I go for the snip new and whoops of course that has to show up let's get that out of there okay I've got it rolling so I hit new now I'm going to create a snip of this so I created my snip of that using my Snagit. I just grabbed it and now I'm just going to plop it into my Word document. So I just hit Control C, I'll Control V, and there he is. Beautiful little snip that I just created this little PNID in just a few minutes. All right. And that'll be what you'll do for creating your electronic document homework. I'm still not real happy with that graph, but I'm not turning it in for homework. I guess you can fix it up. It it does. It's not great. I I don't know that I would give that an A, but oh well. If you have any questions about using uh, any of these software, just let me know. And yes, if you're using a Mac, you can use any of the uh, Mac software. Just be sure and save it as a PDF so that when you send it, I can read it. Thank you. Oh man, and when I record that I meant for this to be PIT and PIC and that did not happen so what I did was all I have to do is just change those letters and plop a new one back in it's as easy as that so I have done that and I've changed those two letters and now I'll just control V get you off of here delete and now I'm back and all done so it's easy enough to fix once you um, once you've got it. Another thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't was file save as I would like for you to save these as let's see I want it on my computer and then my 144 I'd like for you to save it as PRTA144 and this is your electronics electronic document homework and I am Weaver Whoops. Weaver. And so save it in that fashion. I'll know exactly what it is, what class, and I will have your name on it. And then you'll get credit and it makes it easy. Perfect. It saved it. And then you'll plop it into your Blackboard course. You'll just go to assignments. You'll go to where that assignment was. And you'll just plop it in Blackboard and I'll grade it from there. Quick as I can. Thank you very much.